Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for some more Forza Horizon 3. Today I'm sharing with you the 1983 Volvo 242 Turbo Evolution. And this nice little old classic rally car is another car from the Duracell Car Pack, the March DLC. So I just want to share with you the customization for this car in the Forza Vista. Also want to show you how I customized mine and then I'm also going to share with you some free roam gameplay so you can see the car, hear the sounds of the car and I have to say this thing actually sounds pretty nice for being an older car like this, a 1983 rally car but it does have a nice sound to it and it also looks very nice. I really like the look of this thing and they have some pretty unique customization for this thing. It's simple things that you see for some cars but just the way it looks on this car actually looks pretty cool and I really like the customization options for this thing and you're gonna see here shortly how I customized mine but first I just wanted to show you all the options for this thing and also obviously just want to talk with you about this car now the first thing I want to say about the performance I mean it's a C-class car stock it's really not that great and that's why the gameplay you're gonna see I decided to upgrade this thing to the top of the A-class but I have to say, even being there at the top of the A class, I spent a good amount of money to upgrade this thing and it still really is not that fast, but being a classic rally car, that's exactly what I made it for, is off-road, dirt roads, and man, you know, the inside of this thing is really cool. I love the older cars, just seeing the simplicity and how nice the interiors would look. The steering wheel is a little bit weird, I will say, but the rest of the interior on this thing is pretty nice. But this is a real-wheel drive car and the launch really isn't good, even with rally tires, and I didn't try racing tires but since it's for off-roading I figured with rally tires it would be a lot better but that really isn't the case the launch still isn't that amazing now it's not awful I mean there's definitely cars that have a worse launch but it's really not that great the acceleration and the speed especially stock are not very good once I got it to the top of the A class it certainly felt a little bit better but it still I feel like would completely be outperformed by a lot of other cars that are in the A class for off-roading so for me at least, this car overall really is not a good performance car and I honestly am going to use this thing as just a nice little cruise car for off-road. Like the outback areas, this thing is very nice to just cruise around in and have fun, but racing, it's really not the best. I mean, on top of what I said with the performance in terms of like speed and acceleration, the handling isn't that amazing. It's a little bit better, obviously, once it's upgraded to the A-Class, but the braking is also not that great either. So for me, I love this thing for cruising, but I would never suggest using this for a race. I mean, there's tons of cars that will easily outperform this thing. But hey, if you're someone that really likes this car, if you feel like putting the money into it and pretty much maxing this thing out, I'm sure it would be pretty competitive, but but me personally, I just wouldn't put that much money and time into the car, but I certainly enjoy cruising it. I think it looks really good, and it certainly is fun to cruise with in the Outback and off-roading, but let me know what you think about this car. I'm sure there's other people out there who would like it a lot more than what I do, but as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to y'all again very soon. Peace out.